How does Parkinson's disease start? So far, scientists have focused on the brain for an explanation, but maybe they have been looking in the wrong place. Lundbeck Foundation fellow Pierre Borhammer is going to test a new hypothesis. Years prior to the appearance of tremors and slow movements, the disease may already have started elsewhere in the body. Parkinson's disease may be initiated in particular nerve endings controlling the gut. The disease may then spread from there through the nerves into the brain. We have developed the first method in the world to image these gut controlling nerves in order to test if this is the case. To create a visible image of the nerves, a radioactive tracer is injected. The tracer binds to a specific enzyme in the nerve endings. Using a PET scanner, the nerves in the gut will light up as the tracer binds to them. Damaged nerves only emit a weak signal, showing that the connections between the brain and the gut have been interrupted. We see this as a pale gut in Parkinson's disease. We think that these nerves in the gut may be damaged perhaps 20 years before the patients are actually diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. That's why Pierre Borhammer will start studying the intestines of patients with a specific REM sleeping disorder. Many of these patients will later develop Parkinson's. So studying them will show if a pale gut is developed before Parkinson's symptoms appear. If we can show that Parkinson's disease is initiated in the gut, we can use this scanning method to diagnose the patients much earlier than what is possible now. And once protective treatments become available that can stop the progression of Parkinson's disease, it is essential to find the patients very early. In theory, Parkinson's symptoms could then be avoided altogether.